Today we investigate the worst rental homes in Australia. Mold infested, dilapidated shacks of misery. And we're gonna rank them against each other to find out which one is the worst. Our dear friend Purple Ping has launched a website where you can review houses that you've rented. He sure did, and it's called shitrentals.org, and today we'll be going through some of the one-star reviews of the houses. Let's get into it, why don't we? Starting off with this property in Footscray, a short and sweet review with a bunch of photos attached. It reads, this house was full of mould. Mm. New garden, but the gardens either side sit next to the kitchen and bedroom windows. Broken tiles, roof dropping in on one room, and no storage outside of the kitchen. Oh. So that's the whole review. But we've picked this one because there's abundance of photos. Oh, that's a nasty looking oh, bathroom. Oh, jeez, that looks like out of a Saw movie. And so wait, there's a, there's a kitchen sink. Is it? No, there's a laundry sink. So there's all one. It's a laundry and bathroom all in one. Yeah. Correct. Wow. And okay. a bathtub and a shower. I mean. <laughs> Efficiency, huh? I mean, all in the space of what a couple square meters. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bedroom. That can't be. That's tiny. I don't even know if you could fit a double bed into that. No, that's like a, a walk-in robe. Well, that's a bit of a nepo baby mindset. That is from nepo me. baby mindset. But this, because I'm sure it's bigger in real life. But the scale that this photo looks like it was taken, it looks tiny. It's the kitchen. Um, okay. It's just got this filter over it, which just look just gives this rotting vibe. <laughs> Do you reckon there's a filter? Or do you reckon that's just the home? Yeah, I don't know. They've got a they've got those blind shutters that are really manky, and then there's a little drawn over. <laughs> it's, I don't know what they were. There's cracks in the wall. Yeah. That's okay. That's proper rotten. Yeah. That is proper rotten. Okay, so now outside looks here. nice. Different brick formation on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're going around the house. Very cool. Oh, there's a bit of mold up here. Oh. Oh. Uh, that looks awesome. Okay. More cracks. More mold. Is that water dripping from the ceiling through the mold? That I looks think. like a Stranger Things episode where the creatures crawl out the wall. It does look like an opening, doesn't it? Into a portal, yeah. That's nasty. Oh my god. Um. Oh, oh god. Oh, more mold in the corner of the roof. Sheesh. This is yeah. This is proper rank. This is a terrible start. Is that it? Just taped over the the cracks in the corners. <laughs> <laughs> They've just got masking tape in the corners. Yeah. Oh no. Oh dearie. Deary me. I hope that's actually holding anything together. After uh, tape comes off, the whole roof falls. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> it's bad news, bears. You got a whole skylight into the to the sky. All right, where? Okay, that's the end of the photo. Oh, there's no photos of the garden. No, no we're photos. We're just gonna take the their, their word for it. Yeah. So, so this review is tough. The way we're gonna rate these is via mm. tier list. Yeah. So we've got ourselves uh, top top of the tier, uninhabitable. Mm. Moving down, we've got ourselves the garbage dumps. We're moving to not ideal, but it's livable. Four and five are kind of your sweet spots. Where it's a, it's a fine home. Four is a fine home. If we were to rank it by stars, it'd be a, th a three out of four maybe. Yeah. And five is that just <laughs> nepo maybe baby? Maybe four out of five. Yeah. Like we've got on yeah. This yeah. List. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and five is nepo baby complaining. They they've obviously grown up in a very private suburb and they've moved out. And they're just not used to that. There's a little scratch on the wall. It's like, oh, I can't live here. <laughs> one star on shitrentals.org. <laughs> so this one, this one's tricky because there's mold everywhere. Yeah. But there's no mention of any contact with the real estate if they're going to do anything about it. Yeah. Um, but still not a very nice um, place to be inhabiting. My word for it would be dank. It's very dank looking. Yeah. In that's a, a good word. Cool way. Yeah. It's really icky. I mean, for a one-star review, though, I th I think we're looking at not ideal. You reckon not ideal? Um, I I mean, I'm not sure what the problem with the gardens are, but ah, uh, dripping into the room. There's a ceiling that's collapsing in. Yeah, I just want to know what the uh, real the situation with the real estate is. If they're gonna if they're gonna come and fix it or not. <laughs> If they're not going to come fix it, then yeah, very bad. My brain goes objectively. The home is gross, so yeah. I'm putting it in garbage dump territory. Okay, I I could veer into garbage dump territory, but maybe on the lesser end of garbage dump. I okay. could I could settle for that. This property is from Altona North. 
Let's read the review. Landlord organizes their own tradespeople with no notice or communication for cosmetic issues such as outdoor painting, which I don't believe is legal. I believe you have to give some sort of prior warning at least 24 to 48 hours on things like that. I know smoke alarm detectors, I think it's on the day they can come through. If they give you, I think it's like seven hours of warning. Yeah. Which is nuts. Yeah. Well, that's proper danger, but painting, like, give you notice. Yeah. You, you can give notice for that. All window seals are covered in mold and they just tell you to use soapy water <laughs> to clean them. The property manager picks and chooses when to reply and tells you to organize your own trades to fix issues. Okay. Oh, okay. We had no working oven air conditioning for months after reporting the issues. Asked for compensation as the electrician told us that the oven was not safe to use due to dodgy wiring and was denied. Oh, dear. Kitchen sink isn't sealed properly and the wood underneath and in the neighbouring cupboards is rotting, covered in mould. Hopefully they fix this before someone else moves in. The agent was notified months ago. Never replied. That's, yeah, that's tough. I had to follow up with three emails to get them to do an exit report. They did not provide a condition report upon entry either. Had to beg for Whoa. one. Major red that's, flag. Yeah, that's Major. terrifying. That's yeah. terrifying. Rent has been increased $100 per week. The following issues were fixed approximately six to nine months after asking. A large hole in the outside of the roof. It was missing an entire plaster sheet. Drain pipe to the right of the house was not attached to anything. has been replaced. None of the internal doors were able to be closed. The back external door was warped and couldn't be locked. That is... That's a big... That's a big scary point for me. Yeah. Side gate wasn't secure, so it would open in the wind. On top of all the things, the neighbours who live behind the house used to own the property and act as if they still do. They block your access to the garage. The shed on the fence line is theirs, as is the rubbish up against the fence, and they won't move it. They use that shed to smoke meat. The smoke will fuel your house. They also caught fire to the fence once poking their oh meat. Oh my god! Oh no. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is proper nightmare territory compared to um, our lovely Footscray abode that we just reviewed. I hear what you're saying this, now. This one sounds nasty. I mean, I didn't know we were going to have smoked meat fires ahead of us. I didn't know that was the case. That's yeah. really funny. It's sad. But geez, that's so funny to hear the smoked meats <laughs> cause the fire and just floods the house with the smell of smoked meat every time that and just the neighbors acting like they still own the home, even though they mm. don't anymore. It's awful. On to the pickies. They've only provided two and I'm actually unsure of what we're looking at. Um, here. It doesn't look nice, but I don't know what it is. It's yeah. Funny how they, they said all of these things and provided these two. It might be the thing under the sink they're alluding to. Oh yeah. The warped, it could be any of the myriad of things. It could be the missing plaster sheets. That could be the ceiling potentially. Yeah. That, that doesn't look like a ceiling. And either way, I'm happy to go off the review alone. It sounds pretty uninhabitable to me, especially yeah. with random people coming to the home and people yeah. acting like it's their home when it's not. That's yeah. That's just real life interrupting, real mm. unsafe feeling. That's just not good. Yeah, it's that's that feeling of you're beneath people just because you're a renter. You're now beneath the landlords and the powers of be, and that's an awful way to feel in the sanctity of your own home because you're paying money to rent there. Yeah. And terrifying. the fact that there's no locked doors at the back door, so the house is con which is always continually vulnerable. <laughs> Let's not give away this address. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's awful. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say uninhabitable. I'm comfortable putting it right there in uninhabitable. Cool. On to the next review. So this next one is from the supposedly beautiful suburb of Brighton, Queensland. Oh. Not Victoria. We're going up to the Sunshine Coast, even though I know that's a different um, part of Queensland. But <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm happy to call it that anyway. All right. The review reads... The property manager gave me a really hard time when I was exiting and legally trying to claim my bond. It went to QCAT, I won. The property was filthy when I moved in, which I cleaned, and then they tried to claim stains on 20 plus year old sun damaged blinds. Mm. That's fine. I had a relationship with the landlord, so emailed them to try and help me out. They ignored my emails. Once they got wind, they might come into a few extra hundred dollars. I'm assuming they had an agreement to share the bond with the property manager <laughs> if they got it. I was so disappointed with their behavior. I looked after the property and helped save it during the 2022 floods by getting up and clearing blocked gutters as the water started coming through the ceiling. I went above and beyond to help look after the property and this is how they repaid me. They will go to any lengths to claim your bond. Beware. <laughs> Photos attached on what it was like when I moved in. I've got to say oh that seems God. like a consistent thing that bond claiming is is happening to a lot of people and it's un unjust bond claiming rather yeah 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Especially if they sense that people aren't going to fight for their bond or won't go to the lengths. It's so easy for them to just snatch it out of your hands. How much... I mean, I guess they could be making thousands if you do it to 10 people in a week. You make $1,000. But, geez, that can't be that much to them, can it? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's all, all a big money grab at the end of the day sometimes. Let's have a look at these picky photos in depth, like, don't we? Front door seems nice. Front door does seem nice. Um, all right, we're getting into some more nitty-gritty. There's the grout in the tiles there, it seems. All right, next one. That's... Oh, there's plenty of not not good d dust in there. I mean, you could... They, that, that looks like a vacuum job. What is this photo? I don't know. That just looks like you could vacuum it. Is that a spider? <laughs> there's a spider taken. hanging out. <laughs> 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 a spider, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can escort the spider outside, oh brother. Oh, my God. What am I supposed to be seeing here? I don't know. There's another spider. <laughs> Maybe this man's just likes as a little farmer spiders. Uh, I think that's mold potentially in the shower, but that also could be a clean. You could clean that. Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe that is mold around the shower. Oh, ants. No, no, they're ants. Oh. Okay, so we're talking spiders. We're talking ants. Wildlife. So uh, a lot more, more ants. ants. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I don't know if this is inside or outside. Yeah, that is tough to call, which is probably a, not a good case for the home. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to get some juice. This looks ratchet. I don't know what we're looking at, though. I think again. this is the, the top of the stove. Okay. Like the, the stove fan. Got you. Okay, well, that's a grease trap waiting. Um, okay. That's grimy. Those are like the stove dials. The, are they stones? They look like stones. They look like... They, 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 I don't know. This is just me. It looks like it can be cleaned. And is this... No, this is the soapy water they recommended, it looks like. It doesn't look like anything's happened. I'm so confused. <laughs> and this is the, I think that they're saying this is the way they got the home. Yeah, this is how it was when they moved in. Gotcha. Okay, well, that's disheartening. Is that the fridge? I'm not quite sure. I think this is it. also the stove. It's still this, the stove. This is the fan. This is the light. Okay. So... And that's it. Contextualizing now, I did laugh at these people for taking photos of spiders. <laughs> in in hindsight, when you get given the home and it's got ants and spiders in it, I can understand that it's dirty and gross. You yeah. prefer it was cleaned properly. So I, 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 yeah, I take back my laughter. I do. I'll take that back. So this one strikes me as a bit of a bond claiming um, operation from the property managers. It seems no matter what this person would have done after they moved in, the bond would have been tried to sna be snatched from them anyway. Yeah. Seems like something that a lot of estate agents, unfortunately, have been reported to be doing. Not saying that they all do that, but it just seems like something that's been a continuous thing happening to a lot of renters, especially on this website, which is a shame. But now we go into voting. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm happy to put this in garbage dump territory. Yeah. It seems like it, it is a bit dilapidated. Um, there's mold in places. It's like when you're when you're moving into a home, they're meant to really it's meant to be spotless when you move in. Like the issues are meant to be yeah. like fixed. And if there are issues, you can outline it in a condition report. They won't try and take your bond. They're like they uh, the properties that I've inspected personally, it's like, yeah, we know there are these problems with it and this is what we're gonna do to fix them. Yeah. Or like this will just be a thing, you know? My brain goes not ideal. Yeah, one. yeah, I get not ideal, not flat. Yeah, I know it's the, the, the what pictures been are given. a bit like, like we are taking pictures of spiders and ants in yeah. some of them, but that is itself a problem, which can, which can be fixed. Some of it's gross, but then some of it's workable. I put it in not ideal. I don't think it's a full garbage dump, especially after what we've seen so far. Yeah. Would you be willing to compromise and go down to not ideal, or are you happy to stay in garbage dump? I'm happy to compromise and do not ideal. That's fine with me. Gotcha. We now move to the sunny shores of Frankston. Melbourne. <laughs> Let's read the review, shall we? I inspected the property tenanted at night. The tenants had lots of stuff, and it was hard to see the structure easily. They had just cooked dinner, so the house just smelled like cooking. <laughs> I applied and was accepted, but the agent said the price would have to go up before I signed the lease. As it turned out, the owner had been charging the previous tenants $100 cash on the side, which she said was what was why they would be saving on power because of solar panels. Amazing. The agent found out about this arrangement and said she couldn't keep doing it, so she said the rent would need to be increased to cover this. Oh my cover what? When I collected the keys and saw it in daylight for the first time, I saw a filthy house marked as clean on condition report with mouse poo, found mouse bait. The skirting boards in the toilet were so full of urine they were disintegrating and the smell was horrendous. <laughs> 
There were marks of something dripping down the bedroom walls. There'd been a dishwasher on inspection, but it had been moved to the shed. <laughs> the range hood was held on by tape and dripping with oil. The gate was broken, so the back of the property couldn't be secured. I didn't move in. I paid a lease breaking fee. They claimed they had done nothing wrong and had a new tenant move in in the next week. Oh, that poor tenant. That mm. poor, poor tenant. That sounds awful. To the photos. Photo number one, we're seeing the skirting boards soaked in wee. Yeah. And they are starting to disintegrate. That's disgusting. <laughs> that would be very pongy. <laughs> yeah. This is well, a blurred photo of... Uh, it, look, it looks like he got drunk and was like, I'm going to take a photo <laughs> of this room now. I'm going to discount this photo as evidence uh, in the court of, of law. Yeah. Oh, here uh, we go. Uh, okay. Oh, this is the mouse poo. This is the mouse poo. And next to some very yucky looking skirting boards that aren't Ew. even fully painted down to the bottom. They're brown. Yuck. More mouse poo. Yum. Very cool. Uh, the same photo of the toilet just slightly <laughs> zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. It's a lot of wee here. I get it. <laughs> Where the dishwasher uh, used The dishwasher to be. ran away. <laughs> what happened? Why did they put it in the outside area, though? Uh, Is uh, That's my confusion. They just bought up the part where the water pipe's meant to be? Yeah. I don't really know how this works. God, shit. That's f so fun, though. Okay, it's a little bit of dirt around some sort of appliance. Uh, oh. Some peeling in some of the, the, the cupboard doors. Yeah. It's peeling of the laminex. And that's the range hood taped on. Very cool. <laughs> to be fair, to the landlord's credit, they used grey tape for a grey range hood. Hey, it was in a, it was it was a it was a nice attempt at yeah. hiding their work. I give I give it an eight out eight point five out of ten. <laughs> they, they almost stuck the landing but fell off on on the wobble. So oh, strong. Oh, very cool. Let's rate it. What do you reckon? Uninhabitable garbage dump. Not ideal. This a fine is home. garbage, bro. Garbage. This is a garbage dump. I would be pretty darn peeved if I came through to smell the urine and to see the dishwasher was removed. And mouse poo poo everywhere. Mouse poo poo everywhere. And they're, they're a problem. They're yeah. A prob they're they're going to keep uh, multiplying. Imagine trying to entertain guests and be like, oh, just ignore this mouse poo section of my house. <laughs> and don't go to the bathroom. Otherwise, you'll smell all the child wee in the... And if you play it smarter, you say to the guest, hey, you need to bring a peace offering for the, the plethora of rats that live within our home. Yeah. Uh, a nice cheddar, and we suggest. Also, the rent's upped because the landlord was just asking for money on the side from the other tenants. for so Because there are solar panels and they're saving? Yeah, they're saving. They're you saving that the money. <laughs> what you can't? I'm not going to argue this one. It's a garbage dump for yeah, sure. Absolutely. For sure. That'll bring us to our last shitty rental on shitrentals.org. Mm. Shall we get into it? I don't know why I assumed you were going to say it with me because you didn't know what I was going to say. And hey, if you like us reviewing rentals on shitrentals.org, let us know. We'd mm. love to keep doing it. We love our mate Purple Pingers. We think he's mm. constructed a beautiful website for people to report their findings, give warnings to the community. If we make up mm. a, a bit of a database, we'll have a good guidebook of where not to move into, mm -hmm. landlords not to mess with, agencies that might be doing dodgies. Yeah. Who knows? This is for the renters. Yeah, we want to take back the power. We also want to respect the good agents. There's some of them out there. And yeah, some of them I got some good agents. I'm I'm, I'm mm. happy with them. Also, 99% if you aren't subscribed, make it happen. This last one's another one from our hometown of Melbourne in the suburb of East Melbourne. Whoa, whoa, we not too far from where we reside. Oh, so oh, many it's pickies, a, it's so a, much essay. It's a lengthy one. All right, here we go. I'm tuck myself in. I'm ready to go. I've only just moved in and it's already been a terrible experience. To start with, the place is filthy. It's technically student accommodation, but non-students can live here too. The room I rented was a one bedroom unit with its own bathroom and kitchen, and thank God I chose that. There is a communal kitchen area as some of the rooms don't have their own kitchens and there is nothing you could do to convince me to eat a meal cooked in that kitchen. <laughs> there is rubbish and abandoned belongings everywhere. I believe there are only one or two other rooms occupied. There is food and grease and dirt caked on every surface in the kitchen and there is an infestation of flies on one of the windows resulting in lots of flies within the kitchen. For my unit itself, it seemed okay at first. It came furnished, but I organized with a property manager to move it move in my own couch as I don't even want to sit in the stained couch that was already in there. 
After staying here a few days, I realized the oven was so dirty it's basically unusable. When turned on, it creates a horrible acid burning smell because it <laughs> looks like it hasn't been cleaned in years. The fly problem is not nearly as bad in here, but they still managed to find their way in. The kitchen floor was so dirty that my feet were covered in dirt after walking around on it for a few minutes. I've lived in a lot of houses and a lot of grotty share houses and have never once lived in a property this dirty. When I first went to turn the shower on, dozens of tiny bugs flew out and I was too grossed out to even take a shower that day. I was initially going to give this property two stars because it's somewhat cheap for that area at $3.45 a week for a unit. However, I realized I only have that price because I just moved in on a lease transfer, so that was the advertised price in February 2023. They are now renting the exact same filthy units for $3.95 a week. Oh God. Additionally, I was originally told before signing the lease that there was a car park out the back that I could use. The day before moving in, I was told that I could instead rent one of those spaces out the back for an additional $60 per week. I was told this was a discounted price as I was a tenant. There are five available spaces out the back. One is taken. It's now been four days and the property manager never even got back to my email where I showed him that I had originally been told I could park there for free and that previously nothing had been said about spaces needing to be rented. Given that they want to charge $4.50 for the unit I'm living in with a parking spot is a complete ripoff even for the price. There is clearly no respect for the tenants or the living conditions they are subjected to or for the maintenance of the property. I certainly would not recommend anyone to stay here. <laughs> So not only does it sound like terrible living experience and you're getting ripped off by the property mm. managers, the kitchen's communal, the showers, I, I don't think, were, were they communal too? I think they had their own kitchen because that's the property they had, but then every oh, other, but the then other ones shared a kitchen. Oh, okay. One. But even that, it's like you're paying so much money to not even have your own space in the other ones. It's just a weird, it's like a hostel situation. Like that's like a travel hotel. Yeah. Not like a place you want to live. Permanently, yeah. That doesn't yeah. seem like a permanent rental. We start off with picture number one, a photo of the oven. It does indeed look very, very greasy. Yeah. There are some pretty easy methods to cleaning ovens, but you ideally want to move into a home where the oven's been cleaned for it, you. It's hard to... Uh, cleaning an oven is like a whole afternoon. It's a whole afternoon. And it shouldn't be on the renter to move into a new home and it's a garbage dump. There should be a bit of love and care taken for that. 100%. That just should be part of being a landlord. That's or a property a manager. They, they have a little kitty too, apparently. Yep, that's just a random wall. This is a filthy... Oh, this is the filthy kitchen with stuff everywhere. Gotcha. Oh, my God. A photo of a, a dirty tissue. I'm assuming from the grease cleaned of something. The wall, maybe. There's a blurry photo of the oven. Inadmissible in, a, in the court of a floor. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry, too blurry. Uh, don't, uh, just a photo of the ground. I think that's the carpet. You reckon that's carpet? Yeah, I think that's carpet. Jeez. That's disgusting. It looks like concrete. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so just random... Imagine the worst idea of a share home where people just don't clean their, their dishes. This is pretty much that in a communal kitchen. Yeah. Which is properly rank. There is stuff everywhere. There's a <laughs> lot the of flies. flies. <laughs> Jeez. And there's fly screens too. How are they getting in? Yep, stuff all in the sink. So the kitchen seems yep. like a major that problem. Whoa, so the kitchen just has a bunch of people's stuff in it. It's yeah, a storage this space. must be the communal space where people have just left stuff everywhere. That's weird. Just fully, and there's two range hoods and everything. So it's a bigger communal kitchen, but still it's disgusting. Yeah. And dirty cupboards. No one's keeping anything in there. Oh, I guess maybe they're unit specific cupboards. Oh, yeah, yeah that makes sense okay. for the communal kitchen. Yeah, yeah. cool, right? Oh my God. Just more stuff everywhere. D drippies all over the floorboards. Um, <laughs> I wonder if that fan came with the place. Probably yeah, it looks their rare. own. They wouldn't dox themselves like that. No, the outside doesn't look much better. Oh my god! And that's the outside where all the buggies must kind of live and maybe get in from. Here's my problem. On the outset, this home, if you try and look past the flies and the the stuff that's thrown everywhere, actually yeah. seems like a nice home. Yeah. It's just it has had no love care or attention given to it whoever's managing the property haven't had cleaners come through and actually clean it for uh, other tenants to come through i don't know if that's standard procedure either yeah if you've got a, if it's a shared space as well but that's very rank yeah not good and it's hard whether to 
like whether we factor in the financial side of it as well oh, because yeah. to, for because that's like the tell of a bad rental is it's bad after you've moved in after you've like gone through the paperwork like you know what you're paying for from the outset mm. so given I think we should rank this as if someone has agreed to the price and has moved into this place and then has discovered why it's a terrible rental and why no one should live here. Okay. Um, 350 is the price listed, right? Was yeah. That, that was, I mean, that's still dear. That for, is still pretty dear. It for is, a place in East Melbourne, gr- right next to the city, people do pay around that, I think. Granted, it is a one bed. It's supposed to be a one bedroom with a kitchenette. I think it was in their own private bathroom. Yeah. So... I guess that is pretty cheap for that. All that considered, it, if, if with love and care, this would actually be a nice home. But it, it, there's no love and care, and I think that's the, the downfall of a lot of these homes listed here. So I'm going to say it is not ideal. I think comparatively to the other stuff with mouse poo and a lot of mold and wee stains and wee soaked cornices. Yeah. You might have to spend the day figuring out where all these flies are coming from. Yeah. Um, if we could get that patched up, then that would be good. But yeah. I mean, for its price, it's tough. No no property should be like that. I think it's not ideal. I don't know if it's a garbage dump. Okay. What do you think? I Yeah, I want to go in between the two. I bet I think I could settle on not ideal. I mean, I mean, a lot of other people's stuff's thrown about, and that seems like the major issue is just the other tenants are shit. Yeah, but whenever you're in a communal space, like, that's what, you know, you know you're going to get into that stuff. If if space is... Ele- it's like having housemates. Like, if communal space is left mm. up to other people, you can't always rely on them to be squeaky clean or the way you want to live because yeah. they, they're living their lives and they, yeah. you know, you can't, like, predict that stuff. They're all... Yeah, they run on their own standards. So... Yeah. Question posed. I'm going not ideal. What are you going? Let's go not ideal for that one. Not ideal for number five. And that completes it for this video. Mm. That's five rentals off of shitrentals.org that we've picked for you today. If you want us to keep reviewing these, please let us know. We love Purple Pingers and we love this website that is put together. More importantly, we love you. (laughs) How fun's that? That's fun. That's That's been the share house. Thank you, Mac. Write in sharehousepod at gmail.com. Follow us on all the socials, or don't. Get off social media, it's terrible for you. True. See you next time, and Joel, take us home. Hey, make sure to tell someone you love them today. Bye.